Hello world. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful afternoon. And it is a glorious day to continue culturally enriching the world as Navarra. Where was I exactly? Um huh. Well, let's catch up for uh, you and my sakes both. I'm coring two provinces off of England, although I may have to go to war with them soon anyway. They have... Uh, they started another colony as soon as the other war ended. Hopefully it's still a colony. Hopefully. Well, I should check it out. I gave all this land to my Mexican colony, Aberatsturi, but I have a lot of men on border control here, because it seems the Aztec have a lot of nationalists. The whole land is animist, so it's going to take him a decade or two to clear all that out. Thankfully, he takes religious ideas first. All my colonies do. Religious, naval, defensive, economic. Not a bad idea set, but not very good for uh, a colonial nation. I suppose the economic will help me indirectly. What else have we got going on? France really rustled me by taking a couple of uh, provinces in La Plata. From the looks of things, a very expensive province. So I'll make sure that uh, they fall into the right hands. These guys no, only, no longer need to stay here to guard this province. So, get ourselves down to Pampas. Yeah! What else have we got going on? I'm reforging my claim in Algarve. I'll probably do the same for Mercia. And I will wage war on France once Labourde is cored. It'll be a very messy war. Um, my resources are heavily split. Good old 20 stack in England should be able to keep it under control, especially if I invest in Tech 15. Heavily ahead of time, but necessary because France also has Tech 15. I need to be able to sh uh, fight on equal footing here. Uh, I also need to relieve yet another siege on Martinique. If they get either a food shortage or a water shortage, then my colonial nation is going to stop coring it again. It's a very expensive province to core, so I don't really want them to waste any more there. Ugh, what else? Hmm. I want to experiment and see if uh, Gaspar Gomez is going to change his age again. Also, he hasn't had an heir, he's getting on in years. So, let's take Galicia. on the case and head on over probably should have looked a bit looked a bit better at them they are definitely better than Tertius right oh yeah check that offensive morale okay as with every time you restart the game a lot of people uh, rejig their thoughts and feelings for you Keep it going. Maybe I should attach this unit to my colonial nation so he can use it for rebel stomping. Not that I really trust them at that. Alright, what are my diplomats doing? Fabricating a claim on Lincoln. I should probably also try for Norfolk. Fabricating that claim on France. That's fine. Hell, that's better than fine. That's not half bad. Right. Still fort level two there. Get on the case. These guys deal with Asteras. Make 
making sure they get their monthly tick. Also, that English colony, tell me more. Please tell me it's still a colony. I really need to boot England out of this colonial race. Ah, chat's uh, building up steam. Hello everyone, I've got some uh, familiar faces from the other day. Should I say something like, glad you're back? Figures. They got the water shortage, so they cancelled the uh, they cancelled the coring process of Martinique yet again. Tragic. All right, let's deal with these Galicians. Let them see things our way. Get down to Gwyneth. I really need to hurry up with Gwyneth. One light ship. I should really get more ships. But I also need more cannons, I need more everything. So much to do, and virtually no time to do it. You guys get to Kent, the cannons go to Gwyneth. Get that blockade going, I need Galicia to fall ASAP. Boy 830 says, do you ever do open multiplayer games? And it's very rare for me to do an open multiplayer game. Do you think the three mountains is possible? Everyone bloody asks me this. Of course it's possible. Salon have embraced the true culture. What have we got here? During the Reformation outbreaks, destruction of Catholic religious art occurred in various European countries. The most notorious example is Bildenstorm in the Low Countries. Even in Scotland, no! Can't really uh, take the lead and break the papal stranglehold. No thank you. Uh, but I don't want to lose military power. I'm not converting anything, so... Religious uh, power means note to me right now. Alright, a few more cannons should speed up the Siege of Galicia. Right, tell me about that colony. Oh, nasty. Ah, that's nasty. I can't war with England until May. And money down, that colony will be complete by May. 60% chance it'll grow 100 a year. I would have to have it not grow each and every time, and that's not going to happen. Allied with Normandy, Friesland. Allied with England and France. Allied with England, Lorraine, Pomerania. No Cassis. You win this time. England. Still, I'm keeping a close eye on that one. You never know, might get lucky. Okay, I got my claim on France. Let's get another. I want Mercia, you made it. See, Pwai at 30 knows how it works. Of 
Cyprus are allied with Norway, but uh, Norway would join Russia, and that's no. That's just no. Tertius are still the uh, mercenary of choice. I probably have to take out a few loans for the ba the France war. I hate taking out loans. I try to never do it, but I usually don't put myself in a position where I have to. We'll see. I could just let France come to me. How about them colonies? Why? Why are you not down there? Get to it. I set up this colony, but I didn't actually want it, so let's just get rid of you. Send one there instead. Huh? He must have gotten that event that lowers the population by 50%. I'm sorry to say, England. But that colony is forfeit. be an idea to just uh, pull my troops back, let France come to me. But I need a hell of a lot more cannons. that I could just leave these revolts to my colonial nation. With an army like that, I'm sure they could handle it. Maybe if I just left 15,000 or so, and the rest could come home. I'll be home in time for Christmas, lads. Alright, that's that settles it. The more men, the merrier over here. Now I can take England with very limited amounts of men because uh, he doesn't have military tech 15. Alright. Get over to Belize. When do you plan on solidifying your place in Spain? I have one war with France that I need to, claim, uh, I need to fight in order to seal off Gascony, Provence, and Picardy. Once I do that, France can no longer colonize, so I'll also take their colonial holdings here. Then in the next war, I will take this province, this colony, and I will seal off Iberia for myself. Alright, England, let's not stop with those claims. I want Norfolk as well. Getting England out of the colonial game is hard as hell, because I have to get rid of all of his uh, coastal provinces here, and London because it's their capital, I would have to isolate it by taking Oxfordshire as well. So in, in essence, I would have to take all these provinces and force them to move their capital to Derby and Marches. But the AI is fickle. Sometimes they move their capital in uh, creative ways. Like instead of going to Derby or Marches, he would just move it over to uh, the coast of Florida. I've seen it happen before in the Ryukyu game. It was very unpleasant. I need to make a move on that Norwegian colony as well. Mm, so much to worry about. So little time. Right, I'll split off a single mercenary. And he will deal with Norway. Because when I war England, I'll be warring Norway as well. 
Ooh, okay. Come on, Galicia. It's time to go to bread. I am terrified that they're going to get an event that gives them population in that colony. Nice. Portuguese is almost completely eradicated as a culture in the world. The purple provinces are all they have left. And here, only two of them in Iberia. One of them is currently being converted. And the other one in, uh, what's that? Madeira. And their days are numbered. That number is 5th of February, 1579. I need money. These mercenaries are very expensive, but I need the manpower for cannons. up both a colonist and a uh, oh, man. Yeah, he can be the Norway man. Right, discovered fabricating claims. That'll hurt. Hopefully nobody else joins the coalition. Especially not France. They hate me enough as it is. Galicia, you fought well. Give us your secrets about merchant republicanism. Revolutionary War, excellent. All my troops. Maybe not Lisboa. I could wipe the Mercians. Uh, Mercia is mostly desert. Anything's closer? Alicante or Almeria? My money's on Almeria. Also, it's. Uh... Okay. How old are you now, Gaspar? 81! What? Well, you're in this for the long run, my friend. And he gave me 50 diplomatic points. Fantastic. For the record, Gaspar Gomez was about 61 when he was a, a monarch. So, yeah. All those election campaigns make him feel 20 years older. Poor guy. Gaspar did nothing wrong. Alright, the board get. Now do I fight England or France? Or England and France? I really want that colony. But I really do not have the resources to fight France right now. Not by a long shot. I've got nowhere near enough cannon. But plenty of cannon fodder. Oh, what? Didn't I just re-elect you? Okay, what are we getting? Diplomatic or military? Both are pretty important. Gonna try military. How old are you? 51, right. You're going straight on the front lines. Excellent. Someone says fight France because they're not in the coalition. Yeah, but if I fight England, I'll be fighting the coalition. So either way gets them out. 
but I only, I only have to wait 22 days to fight England. And boy am I going to fight England. I want that colony hombre. I want that Norwegian colony too. So I'll snag two colonies and maybe take this land, but not it's not the land I'm after. Besides, that's aggressive expansion I could do without. Ah, what am I saying? I've got practically none. Except for Norway, they they don't like me. Well, too bad. Right, 21 days, war with England. I'm ready to take that colony. Make sure I'm ready for the other one as well. And my troops are in position to crush the English army. There's still the Northumbrian army? But I don't have to worry about those. Could probably do with a few more mercs to deal with any uh, uprisings here. No problem. Hmm? The day that colonist arrived, he added some... Uh, I think he added some men to that colony. Who knows? Alright, England. The time has come. Ah, huh, Switzerland will join in. Well, sure, you haven't made yourself useful so far. <coughs> Rip, big G. Take on them. Take them on both at the same time. Okay. Jake, what is your favourite flag in EU4? Um, probably Perms. Bear with like a book and a crown on its back. It's pretty badass. I wish I was as cool as Perm. Okay, so we march on London, kill them. YOLO no cannon. Norway is probably big enough to take over as war leader, but because it's a revolutionary war, they can't. There can be no change of leader in a revolutionary war, unless it's against a vassal or a personal union miner. Oh, wow. Okay. Remove roast beef from the premises. Just throw down a single unit to prevent any more... Uh, units being made. And to loot, of course. Dimitri says, sorry for being late. Ah, uh, don't be sorry, I was late myself. You haven't really missed much. I was just uh, surveying the scene and decided the time has come to destroy France and England at the same time. First off, seize England's colony, seize the Norwegian colony. faster to land in Acadia and march over. This is the power of military tech 15. You can crush natives.
Oh. Rest in peace. I see you there, friends. Get out. You hate the Pope yet? Twenty. Well, that'll change. That will change forthwith. I need that colony. I really need that colony, but I... Uh... Oh. Well, that isn't good. He's coming to get me. Now... Normally I'd write off this cannon unit as doomed, but they can make a daring escape. Mm, no, they can't. Yes, they can. No, then I just go face first into the Norman fleet. Oh well, goodbye cannon unit. I knew you well. Who needs combined arm bonus? very quickly. And that really was the aim of the war. Anything else is just bonus. Quite a bit of a manpower hit there. I can't afford those. choice, I gotta fight France. Hmm. But I could buy some time.
France doesn't have much in the way of military access. And these guys don't like France. Ah, oh, but Bern is... Th uh, Foix is threatened by France, so they probably will offer military access. Still, it might just be what I need to buy me some time. Take care of that one stack and move my troops over to Lisboa so I can be as far away from the front lines as possible. Normandy, Mantua, Milan, Gelda, Aragon. Okay. Losing money, not good. Jake, WTF are you going to do with France's South American colony? I'm going to take it. I can't afford to have anything other than Basque over here. I got a dirty cosmopolitan blurple. It's almost done, so I'll uh, I'll take it and send a colonist to convert its culture, and then everyone will live happily ever after. Got a lot of colonies going though. It's going to be expensive. And as we all know, I'm rolling in money. Alright, don't think. Just do it. And let's get scorching. Maybe it'd be better to be down in Granada than Portugal. I'm just as far away and the terrain is favourable. Uh, let's see, about 40% mountains and even more than uh, just about 40% mountains. Good enough for me. will not enter Labourd because it's scorched and there's a man standing in it. But like I said, they'll almost definitely get military access through uh, Bairn because Bairn is threatened by France. Why did I start this war again? Oh, right. Colony. Jeez, that's close. They don't know what to do. They're just standing there, clueless. And taking attrition in their own land, so that's good. <sighs> Breakdown of France. Almost 50,000 men with 40,000 manpower. I've got more cannons, though. And in a pinch, I can always recruit more mercenaries. The more merc gambit never fails. I think I will recruit another military leader, though. Ah, they're not very good. No match for France's luck. Right, your colony is now forfeit. I'm going to leave that one to grow a bit, I'll take it later on. Uh, how 
what speed does it grow? 83 per year. So I got uh, a year is fine. A year is a okay. Good. France is just gobbling up attrition in Armagnac whilst I sit back and laugh. It's a good opportunity to take these provinces down here. Uh, fort level 2. Okay. using mercs here as to not waste my precious manpower. I need to keep an eye on Fra there we go. They got military access. Through Toulouse though, I figured Toulouse would hate them. Maybe they're just threatened. Well, since they have access, I might as well uh, get my troops away. On that note, I'm not going to pursue these eastern provinces. France is going to come down and smash into them if they do, because they'll see me as divided and weak. At least I can keep my troops over here, because I can see well in advance if they're going to head towards Alentejo or not. That's the plan. Subject to change. Great. No more Portuguese in the islands. Okay. Mm I can just about free up a colonist. Okay, looking pretty basque. I think I'd rather recall this colonist though. Right, if I send you there, you'll be there in 219 days. Which isn't quite a year. So it should remain cosmopolitan. I will keep a hawk eye on that. Someone starts screaming at me if that reaches 990. Please. I'm begging you. Right, what is France doing? Toledo. Feeling less and less confident about sieging these lands. I should focus more on. troops back here. See France, there's no threat. None at all. Curses. just don't learn. Alright, I just need to remember to burn that before this war ends. War. I do want something for all my troubles. Okay, this is fantastic. France is uh, splitting up somewhat. Making the same mistake as last time. I 
Andalusia is very favorable terrain. Yeah, might be. Ah, they know it. Boy, do they know it. Although, why are they not devoting more troops? Don't tell me losing all those cores shook them up more than I thought. Oh well. It cares me not. What does cares me though is uh, these guys are able to take care of their own revolts no problem. I suppose a 16 stack against animist rebs you're not really uh, worrying about much. Home and time for Christmas lads. Remove baguette from Iberia. Tenacious bloggers. How do they stand up to that? Still, I'm quite happy for France to uh, burn themselves in my lands for a while. Someone saying 950 something. Uh, I'm confident. I am confident I can flip that and make it mine quite quickly. But, jeez, I am hemorrhaging money. Four colonies, so, uh, yeah, those extra ones are really taking their toll. Never had to take a loan so far in this game, but it's going to happen. At the very least, I can reduce my overheads there. The war taxes, why the hell not? No loans. Please. What does looting a province do? Military power and diplomatic repute? No. Looting a province just gives you the money. Uh, hold on, maybe there's a looted province I can show you. Yeah. Okay, France has looted uh, Karabara, or Kadabara, as I like to call it. Um, effects on me, produces less goods, half tax, gives more attrition, and reduces recruitment time. And when France looted, they got five uh, ducats straight into their treasury. Didn't cost them anything. All they had to do was march troops into it. Looting is pretty good. No cost at all, that's right. And I think as a horde, you get uh, military tr uh, tradition. Army tradition for, uh, for looting. If memory serves. Memory does not always serve. Okay, he's confident he can beat me in Andalusia. What's he smoking? so confident in Granada. Maybe he would be. That's a lot of troops he's mounting up and I'm sure they're not gathering for the Carabara beach party. Don't want to suckle on the attrition of Almeria, but it's got slightly better odds than Granada. But I've got a better maneuver general. I'm, I think I'd be able to take mountains. Punishing on the manpower, though, I'd rather they just chewed on the attrition for a wee while. What'll it be, France? What'll it be? I've got reinforcements incoming, so don't you worry, there will be a warm reception for you. There we go, no cost to me, might as well have taken that. Yes, send more into the meat grinder, by all means. Mercantilism is indeed vital for the state. Okay. Oh, 
Hopefully he doesn't sink all my troops here, because that would be embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. I lost a fair few men there. Friends of France mount an impressive amount, Friesland, Gera, Milan, and Normandy. Ah, but Normandy's in the English War, so that's okay. What? Damn colonists. Oh, so that's nice. We made it here. Next month, that should be a full-fledged Basque province. These guys could chew on uh, the 17 stack whilst this other group moves in for the kill. Seems devilish. got London. That's the war goal for this coalition war. Spread out and get some more war score in England. Nine hundred and eighty seven and we got it. That's fine. Basque is such a superior culture that all those French decided to embrace it. I got a nice prestige boost for doing so as well. Freeze up the colonist as well. But I think I'll keep him in my pocket for Banda Oriental. I'll let France grow it to maybe about 900, and then I'll swoop in for the kill. I was hoping my colonial nation would be dealing with these. But they are not. Very well take matters into my own hands. Yeah, these guys have proven completely useless, but I, uh, as has been proven, I can't, uh, I can't make the journey back to Iberia without running into heavy naval resistance. Barahoth. Probably be in my... Uh, probably be in the books for me. Okay. Still scorched, but that scorched earth is going to run out very soon. How quickly can get against get another merc there? 18 days. Not good enough. Those guys weren't budging because although France had military access to Toulouse, they did not. Uh, they're going to join this no matter what. Oh well. if I'd win this. There's no guarantee that I would. Reinforcement speed is good and all, but I would quite like the morale at this point in time.
Oh, great. Haggis has been completely removed from the world. It is now all glorious Basque. That, of course, being the whole goal. What are you thinking, Norway? I'll probably just scorch that. Let's take care of these French colonies because this France war is still in its infancy. There's barely been any bloodshed, anyway. Oh, yeah. Huh. You go, Pope. Right, as expected, the Scorched Earth ran out in the board and they're making their march. And I wouldn't have had enough time to recruit a Merc there and scorch it again. So that's going to bring in an unsightly number of troops to the battle. Unfortunate. But what can you do? unaware that's one thing we can do. Might just be a thousand men. Not two thousand men. It's two thousand men I don't have to fight later on. Damn it, I got that theologian that I would need for this decision, which is great. But I just can't afford him. Oh well, this is no time to be worrying about such things. We gotta do what we gotta do right now. Like I said, I didn't have enough time to get uh, any troops over there to deal with Navara. War, I could uh, free up a little bit of resources, at least. But I would quite like to get Lincoln and no Lincoln or Norfolk. I suppose it's not really costing me anything to keep that war going. I'm quite happy that uh, both Wessex and Kent have refused to revolt during this war. Very proud of them for that. Alright, he marches back to Badahoff. I wonder if they're going to group up, combine themselves into one big stack and try to fight me. For that reason alone, we retreat to Granada. It's worth the attrition. Pope only answers to God. Pretty impressive how Vassal Pope was able to take the, the Holy See back. Hmm. French colony growing as expected. Take care of these other French colonies because I doubt they've yeah, they haven't invested in any forts. It's a lot of troops in my Iberia. I don't like that one bit. My troops are kind of cowering here. He's got me in check. If I make a move to any of these places, I'll probably get poor... Uh, poor terrain to fight on. And then France will march in with her six shock general and rip me a new one. And it will well and truly be ripped. 
never give up. We should march to our deaths. No, that seems foolhardy. Let's take out that loan. That's one nice thing about plutocratic ideas. I've got a lot more mer uh, available mercenaries. And as my colonies go away, I start making bank again. Great. I'm going to need that later on to pay off these, uh, these mercs, that's for sure. If I do win the battle and I chase them out of Iberia, I can mop up these smaller stacks. How's France doing militarily? Not very good, all things considered. So if I just beat them back out of Iberia once, mop up these smaller guys. When the Papal States occupies Milan, that'll get Milan out of the war. Surely. I mean, they'd have 50% of their province is occupied. So that's 10,000 troops I won't have to worry about. Friesland, Gelder, and Normandy. Well, Normandy's involved in the English war, so I barely have to worry about them. Once I take Lincoln, and I think I'll only be able to get Lincoln for this war score, uh, I can end that war. Of course, I need to be mindful to, s to burn Guantanamo to the ground. Or maybe just take it. Depending how long the war goes on, it'll grow to a, a nice size. Kavka says, Hey Jake, is it possible to keep factions and lose inward perfection as Ming? Yes, it is. I've not done it, but I'm confident that it's possible. Okay, we're off to a magnificent dice roll. Four to their ten. Oh... Three poor die rolls in a row means uh, good night, my troops. I could take Lincoln and end this English war, but why settle for that? Make my move on Guantanamo. Yeah, both, both my colonists are free. What am I doing? I'm wasting away here. I should make a move on that one. Hmm. Now, France can keep spare the money. So much to keep my eyes on at once. That was so painful, those dice rolls. At least, at least it was mostly mercenaries that died. Okay, those don't look like mercenaries. Yikes. But this war isn't over yet. Not by a long shot. When in doubt, more men. Come on, Pope. We need you to lift your weight here. I'm 
Manchua. I'm not sure if you can hear the ice cream truck outside my window. It's a bit irritating. Oh, typical. I moved my troops out of the Bahamas and the nasty natives rise up. Can I spare a man for it? Probably. Well, this is a full-fledged colony, so... On you get. Protect the Bahamas for me. It's costing me money. You're necessary. You're not so necessary, but... Let's get a ship over to you. I would run out and buy ice cream, but it's a pretty dodgy looking setup. Even by ice cream van standards. Come on, Pope, please. I need to. Uh, I need. Madrid back. That's a lot of base tax to not have. Let's get my non-mercenaries out of the front line. The mercs can handle the brunt of the force a lot better. Not a lot more cheaper. Guantanamo and end that war? Does that seem like a good idea? Ah, Norway. Burn your colony too if I have to. Yeah, I'd feel, uh, I'd feel that I could breathe a bit easier. Yeah, all the Aztec got cored. I used a little trick for that. All went to my colonial nation at once, fully cored. And they're slowly converting it. But as they do, they will become stronger and they'll give me more money, which is always good. Not that they give much right now, but uh, tariffs are at an all-time low. would be nice if I could just deliver a crushing blow to the French there. I need some far better die rolls. Of course Barahoth holds strong. not grown much, but better in my hands than theirs. I think Lincoln is fine. But if I could get Lincoln and Norfolk... No, I'm just being greedy, surely. Ah, 
Ah, Essex is full price because it's not... Because uh, it doesn't border me. I will just settle for Lincoln then. And your money because I'm clearly desperately short on that. I don't like your friendship with Norway one bit, so get them out of here. And just to be sure there's no other horrible colonies that I'm at war with over here, other than the French. They'll probably set up new colonies straight away, that's the annoying thing. They're like roaches, you just can't stamp them all down. Okay, good enough. Lincoln is mine. Give it the core, get the rest of my troops on it. So it'll probably be quite revolting. Wessex and Kent have been very good. They never revolted at all during this war. Now I can redouble my efforts. I got Friesland out of the war as well. Great! Everything is coming up in Navarra. Try engaging him a second time. I might get a bit luckier. Uh, somebody asked, "What does Aberasturi mean?" It means the city of riches in Basque, or at least I think it does. I hope it does. Otherwise, it would be quite embarrassing. I tried to give uh, Basque names to my colonies. Probably with limited success, but at least I tried. I don't want to lose Toledo. That's gold. My gold! Release my shackles! Ah, uh, but I really need to kill the French as well. What's a man to do? Alright, we'll try the French a second time. Oh, that isn't good. I can't take a bit of uh, Jeldra back up. I haven't got the next military tech, but it's still back up. I wouldn't want involved. Whatever, we'll give it our all. Fairly equal footing on the dice rolls, but they're French. No, that's not good. But that is good. Come on. Get out of my Iberia, you dirty baguette eating swine. You are not welcome in my world. Now they're off to Alentejo, but they might go to Algarve as well. If they do, I'll cancel the movement, but the other guys, uh, they just need to get out. Okay, Milan. Surprised that you don't want peace, considering... Uh, oh, okay, that's why. You managed to take Cremo as well. Making you stronger. More aggressive. Losing Toledo lose me, loses me my gold income as well, which is... Well, it's not the best. But if I make a very quick march on Toledo... Okay, that's great, that's a white. Get the gold back. Deal with the Milanese. I know I don't really have much morale, but sometimes you just gotta deal with that. So is the uh, are the Netherlands going to revolt, considering that they're all currently held by the Dutch, other than Zealand? Zeeland? The colony! 
How many times am I going to forget about these? I think the answer is every time. on the war table. Come on, you're under siege by the Pope and everything. Great. I will give you my most heartfelt concession of defeat. Now get out. Now, France. I just beat you silly, but you're coming straight back for more. I admire tenacity above all else, but uh, you're kind of taking the biscuit here. There's any way I can run fast enough, so, right. Split up! And this time, maybe not let them so deep into our land. Actually, split up. Remove the mercs. Make one set, which is just mercenary and cannon. And let that be led by my substandard ruler. And split in half, I suppose. You guys rest and recuperate in Toledo. You other guys go half of you to Madrid, half of you to Casta de Vida. See what the French can do this time. sure that none of my fleets are open like that. What a mistake for Jacob to make her. Oh yeah, the colony. It's ours now. And plenty of time for it. It's costing us a lot of money, but that is okay. Still got war taxes going for another few months. All right, so far so good. <clears throat> I should be thinking about what I want with France. It'll be very expensive to release much from them. Provence I really want to get rid of, but that's 68%. I can't forget that I absolutely have to take Picardy and Gascony. Gascony I have a claim on, but Picardy I do not. I'll have to chew on the... Uh, on the aggressive expansion for that. But I will sell it to Normandy for twofold reasons. Uh, it will make Normandy and France hate each other, so it'll get rid of their alliance. And it just means that I don't have to bother with it. The only province I'm really interested in taking from France for personal gain is Gascony, because it's rightful Basque land. And we've got a name like Basconay. Yeah, yeah. Madrid has a high support limit, I should probably just have all my guys there. <clears throat> the terrain is not unfavorable. Those guys desperately need to recuperate though. Heading to Madrid, they're confident. Why are they so confident they can beat me? Granted, a lot of my men are at low strength, but so are theirs. If I move them, they'll reconsider, surely. They don't. Huh. Why are they so confident? It 
interesting, but I'm definitely going to need more mercenaries. <clears throat> I'd rather these guys got the tick. Uh, okay. Gelra arrived for. Oh, that's great. That's better than great. I think it's because I had a better maneuver stat. Francois de Valois might be a shocking man, but he's no, man no match for the Desert Mountain. Exhaustion costing me valuable morale. Oh Christ, that's half a point of morale difference. They've got Elan. I've got increased serfdom. Which is funny because I've also got abolished serfdom. Perfect sense. I'll wait till I get the tech, but it still seems like a good idea to back those guys up. Normally I'd take the... F I'll just take the stability hit. The Republic feels pretty sacred right now. Ah, finally. I occupy something. Now, the, Fran the French high uh, morale does mean something good. It means that if I can deal a great amount of losses to them, they'll stay on the battlefield and just take it, especially their artillery. Check those losses. My losses were only uh, mercenaries, whereas France has lost valuable manpower. In fact, I think it's time to go on the counter-offensive. You messed up big time, France. Hmm, Navarra's mountainous. I shouldn't be so gung ho about it. Also, I probably won't get a river crossing from Perina. Oh, yeah, you rethink that. as any to siege up these provinces. It's all fort level 2. So, not a problem. Someone's saying I've got enough cash for the level 3 theologian. Well, he's young, so... Uh, it shows percentage chance of death, actually. So he should be around for a good decade. It'll be okay. Keep my men in Navarra. Take a long while to seize those provinces, but uh, like I said, this war is probably going to go on for a wee while. That colony will soon be done in my name. Jeez, I got two free merchants, and I'm not even using them.
Or could I use them? Good enough to me. Oh, wait, what am I thinking? Mexico! I should, uh... Oh, Japan is sucking it all out. England! Oh, you really know how to get on my nerves. Be a terrible shame if somebody claimed Oxfordshire, wouldn't it? Okay, I've almost got uh, most of my men back. I can go on the offensive. Oh, poor Pope. He tried. Seems like it might work. You try anything funny, I jump onto them. Depends where they go from there though. They might just swing around here. Take care of these little guys. But little guys are not much of a problem. They've got big war score from still holding their capital though, like 13 points of it. I think I'm a long way from actually holding Yield of Frogs. Are they going to march on Armagnac? I think they will. To lose in Armagnac. But I can be on Armagnac inside five days. Four if you count moving a day before he does. So on the 20th. It on. Like I said, France, you are not welcome in Greater Iberia. Go home and be a family frog. He's got the morale bonus, he's got the discipline bonus, and we're equal on tech. This is. Uh, feels good. Oh, thank you. Thank you whoever said he's got a colony in Terra Incognita, because I did not see that at all. You are my eyes. Wait. I have a feeling that revolts there will be a lot more deadly than any from Lincoln. You're a people's greater Iberia. Too right. My slight concern is that once I bury France after this, nobody's going to be a particularly large threat. Someday I'll have to deal with Russia. And that'll probably, probably slow the game down, but that's okay. That'll give me a nice relaxing bit of painting to do in the new world. England though, jeez. Aggressive expansion after that, anyway. Norway's still on the fence about me. 
I don't think I'll ever be able to smooth things over with the English. But I can try. If I got you out of the coalition, that's just one less thing to worry about. I don't even mind you having Northumberland. I can take it a lot later. Norway. They're still bitter about me breaking that alliance all those years back. Oh, that's nice. That's That frees up a lot of my men. Not my men, my money. Still paying over the nose for uh, army maintenance, but... Oh, of course. War taxes. Okay, France unsatisfied at the last battle. Feel the need to uh, do a bit better this time. But I got a surprise for you. Or not. I was going to surprise them by being the one to attack. There we go. Hmm? No, actually, if he wants to come to me, let him take the river crossing penalty. Revolt risk. That's actually quite good, especially in Britain right now. Revolting Bretons. Oh! It was a trap. He wanted to get me in a double. But I will not fall for your little traps. France probably has some colonies in Africa. Maybe, but none that matter. These are the ones that I want. Uh, besides, Africa is tropical, and the AI hates taking tropical. Like, they will go out of their way to take anything other than it. Wow, Sierra Leone is... populous. I'll keep in mind to take that one later on. I kind of want to keep him, but I also want to get rid of him and get a much younger man in charge. I'll wait until this battle is over, though, because I would lose my general. Uh, right, you guys return there. You guys stay. You guys wipe the floor with them, please. Do they get away in time? Yeah, they do. Young, young, young. 54 is not young. And he's an awful general. Oh well, can't have it all. At least he has a point in siege. And that being the case... guy here to be the, uh, the other general. There is another colony in the... Oh, they just don't stop, do they? I think because I occupy one of their colonies, they see themselves as having a free colonist, so they send it out. Even though they're paying for that other colony. Give up. Well, if you're that eager to die, it can be arranged. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't agree to that. Tried to fool me, France. And I'll admit it worked quite well. Just not well enough. Go home. Yeah, 
France's manpower just never ends. Could I bankrupt the French by tricking them into making them a lot of colonies? Yes, you can do that. It used to be an old trick, especially when you could sell colonies to anyone. Representatives have asked us to send a replacement. But I quite like him. Uh, Basaganola. They don't have any cultural conversion to do. I'll give him a diplomat anyway. I gotta hand it to France. That was that was clever. Get me to march to Perigord and then uh, ambush me. There's promise for you yet, Frenchman. The only thing I can promise is a swift death. I should probably let these guys recover a bit of uh, manpower. Here, but I'm just trying to sort things out so that uh, this is both protected and my mercs are uh, re-recruiting as fast as possible. Yeah, see if Brittany has any exploration ideas. Uh, no. Okay, where are you going to send your next colony, France? I'm not particularly happy with any of these, but it's uh, certainly speeding up the formation of uh, Basque La Plata. yourself. Seven and eight base stacks. I'm really glad I'm the one that took these. Also, let's get that loan repaid. I don't like having these outstanding. Further.